Hey, and welcome to Connect. Today, we're going to talk about the metaverse, starting with the most important experience of all, connecting with people. What was that? I want to rearrange your guts. The metaverse is the next evolution to the internet. After pictures in our currency, it is finally time for our physical manifestation to venture into the data. Being described as a space where people can work, play, and socialize while expressing yourself as your own personal avatar. And remember, this avatar symbolizes you and how people will perceive you, so make sure you pick the right one. It looks pretty good. Facebook, Microsoft, and a lot of these big companies are trying to create worlds for people to interact in and make it almost second life for themselves. Second Life is a video game released back in 2003, culturally known as one of the first metaverse games ever created. Contrary to the boomer ideology of virtual socializing being a new thing, people have been interacting with each other using avatars for almost 20 years now. I work in uh, finance. Now tell me a bit about yourself. Get, get off the fucking sun, you fucking prick! You've, you're a griefer! Get off the sim! I think it's important for us to bond. No! In Second Life, you can explore this new world, interact with new people, build, shop, trade, do group activities, all in a public space. It was kind of like regular life if your eyes were in 144p. Second Life is pretty much like the most basic version of the metaverse, a place for social interactions in an online environment. Ever since the creation of that game, tons more titles that include the concept of the metaverse have sprung up, only further improving the quality and size of these territories. Imagine you put on your glasses or headset and you're instantly in your home space. Of racism? <laughs> oh no. That's right, I'm the ass. VR Chat is the most infamous game to fully encapsulate the concept of the metaverse. People were finally able to express their truest personality and convey their identity in a much more unrestrained way, free from judgment and protected through anonymity. Why is the bus different than busing? It's actually a great question. Um, one you do with your butt, and the other you ride not on your butt. Is this what you wanted, Mark? Because it doesn't seem like you, want, you wanted this. VR chat, that's cool and all, but that's just old as fuck. I'm sick of just talking to girls online. I want to meet her. I mean, I'm sorry, I, I meant marry her. Don't get me wrong, I don't want to go outside. I haven't seen a son in like 10 years, and I'm not trying to start now. Hallelujah, yeah, yeah, congrats on the engagement. When's the marriage? Uh, next week. Uh, where is it at? On Roblox. Virtual marriages are now real. Granted, legit ones are not on Roblox, though you can do a mock marriage on Roblox, virtual marriages are the next best option to a marrying couple for the time being. But what if this was a forever thing? What if we never have to do a face-to-face -face wedding again? Because that's disgusting. Man, this shit is lit as fuck. Last month, a couple in India decided to do a virtual wedding as well. However, this one looks a lot more polished. Yes, even though the avatars sort of look like Pokemon player models, the idea was far from perfect. I mean, don't get me wrong, this is a good idea in concept, but the presentation just looks... but ugly. But then it ended up looking like this. I'ma say that's a job well done. Now there are either two options here. Either do it in person with a much smaller reception, or attend a laggy, glitched wedding through your McDonald's Wi-Fi. Make your choice, Mark. Ever since the presentation and the advertisements of this metaverse concept, the stock prices has been going down. People have been losing interest in it, and it's just because it looks bad. And it's mainly due to its practicality. There really doesn't seem to be a need for some extravagant metaverse right now when we have other forms of communication online. But eventually, I believe this could be our future, horrible or not. Okay, so since I'm a shy social mess, I've decided that if I get married, I want my wedding to be in Club Penguin.